Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Goodbye Deponia. Last time, we finally made it into Cletus' room. We got his outfit as well. So, uh, now we just need to uh, look through his stuff. Ha! The bag! Finally! Now, quick, before Cletus comes back. Bam. Uh-oh. Approaching footsteps. Darn. That's Cletus. I need a place to hide. Uh, um, um, let's hide back here, I guess. Ugh, another bite of this slop, and I'll have to brush my teeth. I should have known they couldn't cook in this dump. It's a good thing I have my champagne truffles with me. Otherwise, I would starve. Hmm. So we're taking another bite of that stuff, and here you'll have to brush his teeth. We happen to have toothpaste that we might want to use on him. But, uh, he's not wanting to brush his teeth yet. If we get him to brush his teeth with that stuff, we'll knock him out and we can get out of here. I need to get rid of him somehow. But how? Not a chance. Cletus would notice me. What is he writing, anyway? Hmm. Well, he did say he has his, uh, champagne truffles. Are those a real thing? Champagne truffles? I don't think so. But he has those right here. Right above this air vent. And we happen to have mothballs. Pipe the least to the air vent. I should set a trap first. <laughs> oh, I see. If he wants to brush his teeth, we should probably replace the toothpaste first. So here's the back of the mirror. Let's see, use our one-third screwdriver. Open that up. Hey, he uses the same toothpaste. The guru. Convenient. Let's switch it out. <laughs> That's it. I swapped them, probably. What do you mean, probably? Alright, that should uh, do it. So now let's use the mothballs. going on. Uh, champagne truffles don't taste like that. <laughs> I have to brush my teeth. Quick, quick, quick. More toothpaste. There we go. Huh? This stuff should have already taken a Oh, no. <laughs> I swapped the toothpaste. While I was swapping, I sort of quick swap. Dang it. What do we do now? Oh. Uh, I guess we have to act. Oh. Yeah, you have to uh, <laughs> emulate him so he thinks he's looking in a mirror. What the? There we go. Oh, dang it. Oh, I have to do it just at the same pace as him. Charlie Chaplin uh, skit. Okay, seriously, come on. Come on. It was right there. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have put so much on my own toothbrush. <laughs> Whoops. Won't work. Huh. Huh? Was that me? Must have been. Even unconscious, I'm still a secret weapon. The heck? <laughs> Uh-oh. Mr. Cletus? Are you there? Is everything all right? Uh, yes, I'm... I'm uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm fine. What is it? I need the money bag. I have to put down a payment on the rooms. Uh, no problem. No problem. So, uh, which, which one's the money bag? Good thing I have a photographic memory. Otherwise, I might get them mixed up. Well, this is the money bag. We don't want to give him that, so let's give him this one instead. Yeah. And now leave me in peace. I'm busy. Very well, sir. Whew. Finally. <laughs> 
I knew that would work. It wasn't exactly easy, but I'm an expert when it comes to hairy situations. Doc Jaw will hit the floor. Man, he'll say, Rufus, you really do make the impossible possible. Finally, you've got me this, uh, thing. <coughs> What's it called again? Uh, oh, wait a minute. We had the suitcase full of money. Rare porcelain. Damn it! The idiot took the wrong bag! I just cannot believe this! Whoops. Yeah, it turns out because we wanted the whoop to do Mammoth Relay, but that was an open bots bag, and we just gave him that bag, and that's the one we wanted to get the relay. Crap. Let's go uh, catch him. Please believe me, no one is trying to pull a fast one. There must have been a mix-up. I'm sure that the inspector can explain everything. He certainly can. Ah, Mr. Cletus, I'm so glad you're here. Apparently, there has been a mix-up with the bags. Uh, no problem, I'll sort this out. Hang on a minute, please. A call, huh? It's coming from your room. Oh, then it's, uh, for me. <coughs> Hello? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh. Yes, yes. This is, um, Oppenbot. What? what? Uh, no. Oh, no, no. Is it possible? Uh, simply gone? Is it for me? Uh, come here. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, I, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Just stay in your room. I, uh, hello? Who is that? Um, um, wrong number. Uh, please wait here for a moment, Oppenbot. <laughs> I'll be right back. <coughs> and I'll uh, probably be coming from the other direction. What? But, uh, Everyone is so confused. I must admit, this is all a bit much for me. Uh, oh, well, that was fast. Offenbot, what's going on here? That's what I was just going to ask you. Wait, is that the bag with the money? I'm afraid it still isn't, no. Did you take the bag from my room? But you know that. All that I know is that someone stole my bag. I'm completely <laughs> confused. Finally. <laughs> when chaos floods order, genius mounts a surfboard. So this should be the right bag. Well, what do you know? A plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. Nice. Hmm, I better leave it in there. I don't want to lose it in the home stretch. Oh, okay. So, oh, we should probably change into our own clothes now. No time. Every second oh. counts. Or not. Hey, Doc. I've got your plasma exchange mammoth whoopee cushion thingy. What's going on here? Rufus, the operation was a success. I'm finally my old self again. Yay! Yay? <laughs> Yay! Yeah, super! But how do you... Yeah. Well, that... Doc, tell me. Did you actually need the Mammoth Fur Relay? Mammoth Fur... what? Well, uh, Funny story. Oh, I can't believe you wanted to get rid of me. What? Yeah, exactly. You gave me a pointless mission so I wouldn't get in your way. That is so mean. Is that true, Doc, Bozo? Well, we thought... And I thought you were his friends. Oh, come on, Gold. You know what he's like. No matter what he touches, it always ends in chaos. He wrecked my cutter. Nya, 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 nya. Really now, is that the level we're on? Let me tell you something about Rufus. He is... he... Where did he go? Forward, and make it snappy! Spike his uvula with two bits! Ow! Later, perhaps. Ah, room one. Wonderful. That rotten bunch of traitors! Ugh! I... oof! I... Uh oh. Ah, Cletus, there you are. Rufus, wait for me. Uh, I'm sorry, Doc and Bozo. Uh, oh. And I see you have found your fiancé. Excellent. Ow! 
Ow. What's going on out here? Can't anyone in this blasted... What the... You! Come on, go! Let's get out of here! Jugular Raku! Whoop, whoop, whoop! You! Stop! Stay where you are! We must get rid of Cletus. I'm working on it. Jugular Raku! <laughs> no, please! This is a case of mistaken identity! I joked there, Ragu. That sounds awful. Uh oh. Yeah, she does not like the Rufus. So, <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh oh. Hey, come back! Oh, that was painful. I wish I could set this mad woman on Cletus somehow. Alright, so this is another little mini game. Musical doors. What happens is, uh, oh, let's see even like look at the instructions. Five doors, two stairs, and five people chasing each other through the hallways. On the pony can do this device this man to get Donna and Cletus to meet on the corridor. There's all space there. So I figure out how each character decides on which doors they use and how exits are connected. This chaos could be handled. So yeah, depending on which characters meet in this hallway, they will react in different ways. For example, if Goal meets Cletus uh, here she will exit out this door and then uh, through the whatever you do next she will then exit out this door so what you do depends on who is in the same place where you're going and uh, ugh, it's, it's very confusing it took me a while the first time but I do have the solution right here so let's see I want to go in here first so yeah watch what happens right here there's a dark exchequer and, and uh, Donna Stop! And he tries to get her, so she goes in there, and uh, he goes in there, so we exit. Alright, next. We want to go in here. Because remember, remember, there's a window that leads to that door that Goal just exited. Let's go! And when Goal sees uh, Cletus, she goes Please in there. Please don't walk away! And Cletus follows her. And Donna, she entered that room and she exited out along with the dark exchequer. Yeah, so these you have to like learn these Please wait. But luckily, I have a guide right here. Uh, I want to go back in here again. Go! Wait! Closet. And uh, she went down there, so what next? Next. By the way, if you get uh, in the hallway at the same time as uh, Donna, she will she will go back in the closet and she'll go with you and she'll beat you up again. Alright, so let's see. So, uh... Go here. We must get rid of Cletus. I'm working on it. If we go into here, aha! Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Gotcha. Uh, th this is a mistake. I, I don't even know you. Hammer the shammer! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> All right, we did it. There you are at last. What is this ridiculous game of hide-and-seek? What's going on here? Uh... That woman obviously has it in for us. Uh, right. W w w what she said. Can't you take better care of your prisoners? My prisoners? You're the one who dragged her along. And anyway, where is she now? She must have taken the wrong door. <laughs> Just as well. Now there's nothing standing in the way of our departure. Yeah, baby. Departure? To Port of Fisco, of course. The last high boat to Elysium is waiting for you there. Unless you would rather stay here. Actually, it's like this. Um, Goal, can I talk to you for a second? This is a chance. He'll escort us straight to Port of Fisco and put us in the high boat in Salvo. 
And what if your covers blow? There'll never be a better opportunity. It's actually true. All right, we'll risk it. Don't worry, Rufus is here. I promise me you will behave authentically and dignified, like Cletus. Huh. <laughs> Forsooth, my good man. Then let us promenade back to your noble steed. <clears throat> my chivalric blood seethes already. Yes. After you. <laughs> and that is the end of Hotel Menentecle, I think it was called. Before a champ decamps to adventure and enters the lion's den, he attends an obscure purification ritual. Yeah, that's a habitual narrative. We'll look it up, it's for sure. And polished to utmost cleanliness and dressed up as his nemesis, he chose backed by gold to go out on a limb and that they had to leave their friends of old out in the cold was basically their fault. The arms never hold because breaks are for whims. because breaks are for whims. needs those crumbs. Oh, look at me. I'm Doc. I'm a know-it-all and a legless wonder. Oh, look at me. I'm Bozo. I have hair like an Elysian unicorn and can make fart sounds on my bass fiddle. Now, don't be so upset. I think it's sad you parted in anger. But believe me, they're going to change their minds. At the latest, when they wake up the day after tomorrow with a planet under their feet. <laughs> We'll see. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad after all if the Organon blew this whole junk heap to smithereens. Rufus! I didn't really mean it. So, uh, what's it like on Elysium? <laughs> You'll see soon enough. Is it true that they have fountains that shoot drinking water into the air? Rufus, I can't concentrate. Yeah, uh, what are you doing anyway? I'm writing my report to the Council of Elders. <laughs> Boring. It will only take a moment. You can get the bed ready. <laughs> the, uh, the bed? As in, who's been sleeping in my bed? Yes, of course the bed. We should be well rested when we get to Elysium. <laughs> and, and, and you and me? I mean, we, we, the two of us are going to share a bed? To sleep, Rufus. Got it? Just to sleep. Yeah, sure, naturally. Yeah, sure. Why else? <laughs> <laughs> this is our chance. Hmm. Princess Seth. I hope she doesn't snore. Tactical. You can get the bed ready. Okay. The tyrant Argus for to seek. Stern Rufus with his poniard crept. The watchful guard upon him swept. Grim Argus yelled at him, sob cheek. What wouldst thou with thy poniard? Speak! Rip open all the tyrant's mail, bad Rufus. Thou wilt rot in jail. Oh. That, that was pretty poetic, Rufus. May I? Why do you need a letter opener now? To open my mail. What else? What mail? <laughs> me mail. What do you mean? Well, me mail, you female. <laughs> Get it? Oh. <laughs> Heavens, I'm so unsettled that I find that sweet. No, Rufus. Hmm. All right. See what's this? Oh, there's Jordan here. So it's true what they say about people who wear platform shoes. They have terrible taste in footwear. <laughs> and we get platform shoes for some reason. Alright. Here's the bed. Yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. <laughs> oh, go! The bed is ready. Don't even try to sweet talk me. We're just going to sleep, understood? You already said that. Yes, but you didn't listen to me. And kindly keep your pants on, will you? Even if it's only because of the security cameras. 
Oh, Security no. cameras? Oh, you, no. you mean we're being filmed and, and somebody's watching it? Maybe not right at this moment, but I'm sure that they record everything and view it on a regular basis. And, uh, <laughs> of course, it, it would have been really silly if I had taken off my disguise, huh? Yeah, that would ruin everything. Unless someone got into the computer core in time to delete the recording, <laughs> right? Um, is there something you want to tell me, Rufus? No, 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 you, you go ahead and uh, finish your report. I, I, I'll do something uh, reasonable. Oh, Nothing no. like making my way into the computer core <laughs> or anything like that. <clears throat> Quite the contrary. I'll be doing something boring. <laughs> something that won't make you suspicious. <laughs> Great. So we now need to get to the computer core to erase the data because Rufus got out of his disguise. He still looks like Cletus, so I don't, I don't understand what the problem is, but that is our plan now. Let's see. Flip that up. Know how a slatted frame. Oh, that's a slatted frame. Where I come from, they call this a slatted frame. And a slatted frame is in our pocket now. Oh, that where I for some reason. <laughs> Just a washstand. But hey, there's a coffee dispenser. Hmm, all right. There's a coffee. Well now, what have we here? Coffee from plastic cups? I thought I was traveling first class. Oh well, we now have coffee. Yeah. Alright, what else is in here? Huh, should I wear pearl white today? Or maybe snow white? <laughs> For someone who always wears the same outfit, this gigantic closet is awfully excessive. Three dwarves could easily do handstands in there. Which would be approximately uh, 1.8 people or 1.2 bozos. <laughs> All right. Wait, can we get anything in there? And we have an the air duct. duct leads deep into the interior of the cruiser. Where exactly is hard to say from here. Yeah. Whew. Nope. Screwed shut. Something to unscrew it? I doubt the letter open all work, but yeah, let's check. That could work. Oh, that did work. Hey. <laughs> hmm. So we have this air duct, but uh, we could just go out the front door if we want to get to the computer mainframe oh. core or whatever. Can I help you? Um uh, what wh wh what are you what are you doing here? Guarding the door, Inspector. Ah, I see. Alright. Can I help you in any way? Well, Step aside. I want to check whether everything's ship shape on the cruiser. Not possible. The bailiff has ordered that all guests must remain in their cabins. What? But, uh, uh, uh. What? What's the meaning of this? Why are you blocking my way? Orders from Bailiff Argus. He's worried that intruders have obtained unauthorized access to the cruiser. Uh, intruders? Inconceivable. No, don't worry, we'll catch them, even if we have to search every single cabin. Uh oh. Did you just say you're searching for intruders? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Maybe, maybe not. At worst, they're Deponian rebels. Annoying, but harmless. So no worries, Inspector. We'll have everything under control. And you'll be safe, as long as you remain in your cabin. But you don't need to watch the security videos, do you? Don't worry. We'll do everything necessary to ensure your safety. W which doesn't include the videos from our cabin, <laughs> right? Wrong. But don't worry, Inspector. The content of those videos will be handled very discreetly. And if it's true what they say about your last recordings, they're not terribly exciting anyway. So if Mingle were to do something bad, they would watch it. I insist on being let out of my cabin! Not possible. I have my orders. This verge is on harassment. After all, I'm an Elysian. You have you have no right to treat me like this. You're welcome to file an official complaint. Are we prisoners now? Not at all, Inspector. I have strict instructions to treat you as though there were no reason to suspect you of betraying the Organon. Uh-huh. 
See, are you also going to search our cabin? What for? You got anything to hide? What, me? No, no, well, uh, go, go ahead. This won't take long. <laughs> There's no one else here. A pardon my distrust, Inspector. I'll return to my post if that's all right with you. Well, we can't get out that way. Can we get out through this way? Ouch. <laughs> End of the line. Shoot. Wow. What's all this? This must be the computer core. Well, huh. Cool location. <laughs> I bet this is a great spot for parties. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Well, here's the computer core, but we can't make it past this grate here. Huh. So what will we do? How will we get to the computer core? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Goodbye Deponia. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.